इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर अ रिएक्शन इज गिवेन एंड इट इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द क्वेश्चन दिस रिएक्शन इज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन वी नो दैट फ्रॉम विल हेलमाइज इक्वेशन द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट वेरीज विथ दिस इक्वेशन दिस दिस इक्वेशन इज नोन एज विल हेलमाइज इक्वेशन हैंस वेन वी ड्रा ग्रॉफ बिटवीन द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एन टू ओ फोर एन टाइम इनिशियली वेन टाइम टी इक्व टू जीरो then concentration of n2o4 will be maximum that is equals to n2o4 not and when time increases it is clear it is exponentially decreases to graph should be like this hence correct option should be fourth now we will discuss question number 35 it is based on ionic equilibrium topic In question number thirty-five, Ksp of cobalt hydroxide is given, and with the help of buffer, pH is maintained at equals to eight. If pH eight, then pOH should be fourteen minus eight. It is equals to six. Hence, concentration of OH minus should be ten to power minus pOH. So it is 10 to power minus 6 molar. Now we will dissociate cobalt hydroxide, and it give CO plus 3 and 3 OH minus. If solubility is S, then this is S, and 10 to power minus 6 M. Now Ksp equals to Cobalt plus three into OH minus cube. Cos Ksp is given in the question. One point six into ten to power minus forty four. Concentration of cobalt plus three is equivalent to solubility, and ten to power minus six cube. So S equals to one point six into ten to power minus forty four upon 10 to power minus 18 cube. 1.6 into 10 to power minus 44 into 10 to power 18. After solving, we get 1.6 into 10 to power minus 26, and this answer is given in first option. Correct answer should be one. Now we will discuss question number 36. It is based on chemical equilibrium topic. In question number thirty-six, we should know equation L and K equilibrium equals to minus delta H upon R into one by T plus I, where I is a constant, delta H not enthalpy change, R gas constant, T temperature in Kelvin. If we compare this equation with a straight line equation, y equals to m x plus c in the given graph, L n k equilibrium is present on y axis, and one upon t present on x axis. Hence, slope should be equals to Delta H upon R, and reaction. If reaction is exothermic, then delta H will be negative. For exothermic reaction, hence minus minus will become plus. Net value should be positive. It means correct answer should be third. because slope equals to minus delta h upon r